Hey everybody, so this is the second GoDrone firmware demonstration video. Uh, today should be exciting because it's the first time I'm actually going to attempt to fly the drone using my custom firmware. Um, I'm a little scared because a previous attempt to record this video has led to the drone getting broken, so hopefully I'll, be, I'll have more luck now. Uh, but don't expect too much, it's still very rough around the edges. So anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to build the firmware and upload it to the drone. Uh, it's uploading via FTP. Uh, through Wi-Fi. It's going to take a second. All right, now we're running the drone firmware. And uh, the way I communicate with it right now is I, the drone runs a web server, uh, which I just connected to. And uh, then I've got this gamepad hooked up to uh, my computer. And the web server serves some JavaScript, which uses the HTML5 gamepad API. And I use a WebSocket connection to talk to the drone. So I can basically get the gamepad inputs into the firmware. Um, probably not a long-term solution, but it works kind of okay for now. And now I'm going to attempt to fly it. All right, wish me luck. Um, I'm going to, uh, this one is the throttle here, so if I push this a little bit, it's going to start up the rotors. Uh, there's no automatic altitude control yet, so I have to manually keep things in balance. And I'm not very good at flying it, it's very difficult to fly, and this is kind of close space, so I expect to crash within a few seconds. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, All right, um, second attempt. Let's see if I can keep it in the air a little bit longer. All right, so this is kind of as good as it gets right now. Uh, I expect things to become a lot more stable once I uh, have automatic height stabilization built in. And I maybe also have to do some more improvements to the uh, sensor fusion algorithm. Right now I'm just using a simple complementary filter, um, but I hear that common filters provide much better accuracy. So there's a lot more work to do. But anyway, you can check out the project on GitHub um, and uh, hopefully I'll have a useful version to announce soon. All right.